Hi guys, welcome to At Home with Grace. If this takes off, I will answer more questions next week. If it does not, I will never do it again, um, but let's give it a go. So my mom got a email blast and she opened it up. She had followed Howie Carr for a long time. She listened to him all the time when I was younger in the car. And it said, we need help. We need an assistant or something like that. And I was at the time waitressing just out of college. And she said to me, will you please apply? Please, 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 please. And I said, yes, I will. They are not going to call me back but if it makes you super happy, I will apply. But once again, they're not gonna call me back. So I sent my resume in online. The next day I was walking on Newberry Street with a couple of my girlfriends and I get a call from the mailroom manager. And she said, hi Grace, this is Kathy Carr. Is this a good time to talk? The week before I had done an interview, it had gone extremely poorly. I had been on a train. I tried to take the call in the bathroom of the train so that it'd be quiet in there. The train was really loud. It was a total disaster. I did not get the job. So when Kathy Carr called me and said, is this a good time? I couldn't really hear anything. I was on Newbury Street. I said, actually, it's not a good time. Can you call me tomorrow? So I got home and I told my mom that Kathy Carr had called me and that I had told her to call me tomorrow. And my mom was, oh, she was so mad at me. She was like, Grace, they're gonna find somebody else. They're never gonna call you again. Why wouldn't you just take the call? And I said, no, I really think she was happy I didn't take the call. I really think she thought it was professional. But then as the night went on, I kind of thought, oh, maybe she isn't gonna call me again. But sure enough, the next day she called me, set up an interview, went in for the interview. I was 15 minutes early, which is why I got the job, because none of my answers were that good. I was just early. Kathy had made it very clear in the interview. She said, it's gonna be a lot of book packing. It's gonna be a lot of administrative work. I want you to know that going in before you take this job. It's not gonna be super glamorous or anything like that. And I said, that's fine. I mean, I, I was waitressing and I was used to, you know, being on my feet, I didn't really mind. So I got home and I said to my mom, I explained all that to her. And I said, I got the job. And immediately my mom said, you are gonna be on the radio with Howie Carr. And I said, you're crazy. I'm packing books. You know, they say moms know best and they really do because six years later, I'm on the radio with Howie Carr every day and she just knew. I think my mom really did know when I came home that day that I was about to start something incredibly special and she knew way more than I did and she was right. Thanks mom. Yes, I do, vividly actually. The mail manager had told me to meet at their house in Wellesley. And I showed up once again early. That's a tip for all the young kids out there trying to get jobs, just be early and you're already ahead of the game. So I pulled up in the driveway, there was a couple cars in the driveway and I knocked on the door and I had never met Howie before, I'd never seen him in person. And he answered the door and he had his canvas bag, which he still has to this day, the same one. And he looks at me at the front steps and goes, okay, I'll be out in a minute. Just one minute. Do you wait in the car? I was like, okay. So I turned around and went and sat in my car. And I'm sitting in my car and I was kind of thinking like, mm, I feel like he didn't know who I was. I don't think something and I'm just sitting there and then I get a call from Kathy and she's like hey where are you and I said oh I've, I've been here I'm just in the Howie told me to wait in my car and then I hear her say Howie and then when I walked in she says to Howie this is Grace she's our new employee she is not the Uber driver and Howie was like oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I thought you were the Uber I didn't care, I mean, honestly, I ended up driving Howie all the time anyway, so in a way I was the Uber driver, but it was really funny just because he told me to go sit in my car and I just did it, which is why Howie and I get along because I don't ask a lot of questions. Yes, 
So I was in the green room. This was at our old studio. It was tiny, like a little shoe box. I think I was answering calls at that point. I had drifted a little bit into more of the show stuff, but I was still very heavily involved in administrative stuff, working with the mailroom manager as kind of her assistant. But in the afternoons, I would help them with the calls. And so I was sitting back there and Howie was talking to one of his producers about the Clydesdale horses. Now Budweiser was gonna get rid of them in the commercials and it was this big deal. And I think it was the poll question or something because it kept coming up. Finally, under my breath, kind of more to myself than anything else, I just said, um, I don't know anyone who drinks Budweiser. And how he said, What did you just say? And I repeated it and I just said, I don't know anyone who drinks Budweiser. And he said, well, what, did, what, do you, what do your friends drink? And I said, Bud Light. He said, Budweiser's so heavy. Who would want to order that? And he said to me, do you want to call me here and say that? And I said, sure. But I said, sure. But in my head, I was like. Immediately I went to the bathroom and started calling my whole family. You guys tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in. Everybody's got to listen. I'm going to get on the air. I'm going to be on the air. I'm going to be on the air. And I was so excited. I just remember freaking out. And then how he had said to me afterwards. If you ever have anything like that and you want to come on the air again, you can just pop your head in. Little did he know that it was Pandora's box. Because once he told me I could pop my head in, I just never stopped until I gave my own segment. Guys, this has been At Home with Grace. I loved answering your questions so far. If you have any more questions for me, no matter what they are, I am totally willing to answer them. So just tweet them at G underscore Curly for anything you wanna know. And if you really like this, share the video because then I'll be able to make more. And until then, hopefully, see you next week.